Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline. Um, I wanted to make an update. Uh, it's kind of a response to my last video and um, uh, some people were talking about um, my last video being about putting effort into your transition and it was about trans athletes and I wanted to make a quick response video uh, to several people talking about what do I mean by putting effort into transition. So uh, one person on here we were talking about um, some people don't won't ever pass that was how the conversation had started they'll never pass no matter how much surgery or what they have done um they will always you know i guess uh will never blend in with society naturally and uh and someone else was saying something very similar about passing and they don't know how to get around the passing term uh so for me uh there's just so many people in this world that are coming out as transgender and they put no effort into say they're a male to female they are putting no effort into it they're um they're literally once in a while maybe dressing up maybe putting a little makeup on and a dress and then uh going back to work as a and presenting as male and and living their life as a male but they expect people to uh respect their um gender identity and so, sure, when you talk about um, people passing and putting effort into transition, so some people feel that they're never going to pass, so why put any effort into it? And to me, I feel like transitioning isn't an option. So when I transitioned, uh, I had a mission. Uh, when I first moved to America when I was 15, 14, from South Africa, I had a very thick South African accent, and I was always under a spotlight. So for me when I decided to transition and it wasn't really a choice I was going that direction anyway and I didn't know what it was until it just happened so when I decided to transition the first thing I did was uh, call my mother and I was living uh, in Los Angeles and she was in Tennessee and I called and I just said look I'm transitioning and there's really nothing you can do about it and um, and that's just the way it is and so she got very upset and uh, told me that I would never look like a woman and and so and so forth. And so we had a bit of a rift and um, now she's fine. But as time has gone on, you know, there was a, I didn't, I didn't give a shit. I actually really didn't give a shit what she thought or what anyone thought. And I lost my job. I got fired and um, they found a way to get, get rid of me uh, at a barber shop I worked at in Los Angeles. And so I don't want to compare my struggle to other people's struggle. But there is definitely, because um, everybody's different. Everybody struggles different. Everyone suffers different. And someone gave a response and said, um, maybe they don't have the financial financial means. I definitely didn't. But maybe they don't have the financial means. Maybe they don't have the intelligence. Maybe they don't have, you know. So these are, yes, these are all things. So for me, um, I, I don't think that they can uh, expect society, people who don't want to physically transition and portray as the gender that they are 24 seven, I don't think they can expect society to respect their gender identity. That is, I'm sticking with that. And when someone doesn't pass, but it's quite obvious that they're transitioning or they're working on transition, um, you can tell. It's not like something where you're just like, oh, I don't know. You can usually tell what someone's going for. So it isn't about passing. And someone like that, absolutely, there, I will respect them because they're presenting the way they always feel. Um, and then you get lines where it's crossed where it's like man and woman and so on and so forth. So say if I shaved my head and uh, stopped taking hormones and my testosterone came back and I grew a beard and, um, you know, and stopped, you know, presenting as a woman. This is what I look like before I transitioned. And uh, that's me. Um, I wish I could get it close. Actually, we'll get it up nice and close. So that's me. And I was pretty, you know, uh, I feel like, you know, pretty masculine. And so you take that, uh, that if I decided to go back to that and expected people to call me a woman, uh, wherever I moved to, like be like, oh, well, actually I'm trans. I'm just a girl with a shaved head and I have a beard and, but I identify as a woman. If I'm expecting people to respect that, uh, then no, I don't agree with that either. I, and that's me. I'm talking about myself. Uh, I could pull up pictures of other people, but that would be very unkind. And so with all the Jessica Yaneves and um, the GameStop transgender woman yelling at these people saying, obviously I'm a ma'am, 
And to me, I'm like, obviously, you, you know, you are going to get the response that they gave you initially. Uh, they're going to look at you and go, uh, I think it's man, because, you know, and uh, it's about just putting that for in. So say if I lost all my hair and I went completely bald, I'd still be a woman, yes, but I would absolutely, because uh, if I shaved my head now, I wouldn't pass. I rely on my hair because my hair looks, you know, my hair is my hair. I have extensions put in, so it's a fourth for thickness. That is putting effort into my transition. It's uh, putting effort into me. So I might be financially stable right now, but for the past 10 years, I lived on $20,000 and, um, and I thought I was okay. And the one important thing is hormones. I could never get off of them. So if there's just one thing that people do, it's stay on hormones. Now, my thing is, is uh, you can't expect society to accept you if you're not going to put the effort into it. That's what I mean by effort. Uh, it has nothing to do with passing. It has to do with putting effort into your transition and portraying yourself as the gender you identify as. As far as non-binary, I think if you are non-binary, I think you have to expect people not to know uh, uh, by looking at you because we can't do this thing where everybody is just saying their gender the moment you meet them. I think it's a little... It's a little uh, ridiculous. And so I would probably identify as non-binary because I've never had any surgery done at all. And I never plan on having any surgery done. So to a lot of people that would be seen as non-binary, which I'm at my voice. But it is quite obvious what I'm going for. Even if I had a massive brow bone or an even bigger jaw, or if I had a, uh, you know, um, I wouldn't have five o'clock shadow because that's something you can get rid of. Make the fucking appointment. Get some laser done. Find a way to get it done. But you can't expect people to understand if you look a certain way. It sounds unkind and maybe it is. Maybe it is unkind of me. But at this time, I just feel like everybody's a woman now. And everybody uh, is like expecting the same thing. I mean, celebrities are coming out as non-binary left and right. And they're not changing anything. They're literally just doing it. And, and we're just supposed to respect and conform to their, uh, their, their identity and so on and so forth. So yeah, I have a difficult time. And uh, I don't mean that passing is the end goal. I mean, it's nice. I think I do have a passing privilege. I think I can walk down the street and no one's going to look at me and think anything. Um, so I am lucky. And uh, I don't want to ever say that I've worked harder than anyone else or um, anything like that because I don't, it's my own situation. However, if you're going to transition and you're expecting people to respect your gender identity, you have to put the work in. Um, otherwise, you're going to have to endure explaining it to every person that you come across that calls you a he or a him or whatever. If they use male pronouns, you're going to have to, that's what you're going to have to expect. So if you're 60 years old and you're deciding to transition, hormones, you start on hormones because the first three years I didn't pass. And I, you know, had a difficult time with it, but I sure as hell knew that I was going to live my life as a woman and continue on because I'm already a woman. So it isn't, you know, if I get off hormones, it is a catastrophe. I've done it once before accidentally. Uh, my doctor was prescribing me a hormone that wasn't working and I didn't know. And I gained this, all this weight and my mind, I got very aggressive, testosterone. And so, no, I don't think a trans person can be mentally stable without hormones. That's my opinion. I think uh, some people are not able to take them medically. I feel like they, they might have some medical conditions where it's bad for their liver or something like that. And that, to me, is just such an awful thing. And I, I feel like it's, it's, that's terrible. And sure, everybody's different. But if you can be on hormones and you're not and you're expecting people to risk, there's just, a, it's a work. Being trans is work. And at this point, we have, if it's the, our level of confidence and we demand that respect. We have to have that respect. We have to put the work in to get that respect. Um, that's my opinion. And uh, I think in today's age, it's, it is fashionable to be trans. And it has nothing to do with whether or not you pass. I think it very much has to do with uh, being true to yourself and presenting on what you already are. That's my opinion. I know some people won't like it in the trans community, and you know what? That's I feel like trans people don't like a lot of shit in the community. They don't like a lot of shit in life in general. And to me, it's like, for example, like the Dave Chappelle skit that he just had, Sticks and Stones. All the trans people were up in arms about it. I laughed the whole time because I can laugh at myself. I can laugh at the things that I'm insecure about because it's the one freedom that we have in this world is to be able to laugh at yourself. So it's not taking yourself too seriously. However, when people decide to transition, it is a very serious subject. 
if i have someone call me a he it is just crushing to me it's one of those things where i'm like i'm crushed you know but if you're you know dressing like a woman and wearing makeup and you got your hair done and you're putting the work into it it's like people aren't going to just call you a he sometimes you'll run across an asshole but for the most part people are going to respect you for that you can't just expect them to respect you when you have a massive beard and you have uh, or like massive five o'clock shadow and just because you dress up once in a while and say you're transgender doesn't mean that society has to respect you before it this is we are in their world you know it's like putting a human in a shark in the ocean and there's sharks there like you're in their world it's what's gonna happen we can't we can slowly change society but at this point in time uh, we have to put the work in if we're gonna transition uh, sorry if that offends anyone but that's just the way I feel um, and sure, I'm lucky. I have passing privilege and so on and so forth. But um, I don't think being trans has much to do with passing. It's about being true to yourself and not acting like a 15 year old girl when you get on hormones. You know, it's fine to like, you know, get girly and all that stuff. But when you start talking like uh, I mentioned in my last video with uh, a couple of people who you know start transition and all they talk about is how everyone thinks they're so sexy and everyone wants to sleep with them. So. I have, uh, I think trans, yeah, I, I feel like there needs to be some kind of stability and, and uh, what is it, um, uh, what would you call it, uh, class, a little bit of class, you know, an understanding, not everyone's going to get you, not everyone's going to understand you, but if you're expecting everyone to understand you or you're just expecting society to understand you, that's a very dangerous path, so I think if you're going to transition, commit to transitioning, there's, there's not this like uh, half-ass way of doing it. Um, I mean, I don't have a vagina. I don't want one because I'm sexually, I'm quite satisfied. Uh, do I have dysphoria about it? Of course I do. But I'm not gonna go through some massive surgery and s s lay on my back for weeks and have to dilate for the rest of my life. And, and a lot of times statistically, it doesn't, uh, it's, I, it's not proven that it stops people's depression or dysphoria. Sometimes it's still there, most, actually a lot of time it's still there afterward. So I feel like whatever we feel about ourselves and if we allow ourselves to be ourselves uh, and fuck society, fuck your family, fuck them all. Uh, if you are stopping being yourself for other people, then uh, you get what you get. I mean, you can't, you're choking your oxygen is what you're doing. So uh, transition, it's not really an option. It's, it's painful, it's a very tough journey, but uh, sometimes you need to hear some stern, aggressive, uh, motivational speak, uh, speech to get there. Anyway, I hope everyone's okay, and I hope this really doesn't get taken too hard. And I really appreciate the responses and the video response from, um, uh, from the one user that follows me, uh, that, uh, that was commenting my last thing. And I respect you. I respect your viewpoint and so on and so forth. I just, I think I'm at a point in my life where I'm tired of everybody just being trans and not putting any effort or any work into their transition or committing to the transition. I just get tired of it. Uh, maybe it's just a part of my personality. I'm not sure. Anyway, but I hope you guys are well. Have a great day.